Today I'm going to be using the clear and I will be giving this lip solution a go. I did break out this other gel brush just in case I needed it and my little clippy and I picked out a dual form or a poppet that'll fit my thumb perfectly. Now this one's a little tough to get to squeeze up um, but I'm pulling out a little dab of that to get started with being sure to close that back up. I'm going to scrape it off into the dual form and clean off my spatula end and I am using that slip solution. You don't want your brush like dripping but you definitely want to keep it moist so that the product don't start sticking to it. I didn't really have a lot of problems with that with this particular poly gel. I, I was really impressed with it. It does seem like a thicker formula than my last one, the uh, gel-like poly gel. But you're just going to work that. Now this time I'm trying to make sure that that end that's going to go back near my cuticle area um, is rather thin. I'm still learning. I am going to have to get a little bit more of that clear poly gel out of the tube. So there we go. Get just a little bit more and close it back up again. And I did speed this up quite a bit because this was a really long video. I had no idea that it had ended up that long. So there we go. I think I bit my tool a little bit, so be careful. Don't get all crazy like me. I am heavy handed though. I am trying to mush and pat and smooth this around, trying to, you know, get it uniform. I don't want one side way thicker than the other side. I do prefer a thinner um, coat of this personally. Uh, you know, I just feel like it feels more natural to me. And I am just going to keep working that dipping down. And if you, you know, run out of slip solution or don't have it, you know, seriously, the 91% alcohol works just fine. But I wanted to use everything from this kit today. And the clear is kind of hard for me to see. I keep having to kind of pull it up closer to my face and turn it to, you know, see the light and see how, how well it's, you know, smoothing out for me. And I am just tap, tap, tapping it. Now this time I'm going to do a little bit of a shorter nail than I did last time. I, you know, I just want to, and see I'm gauging it, and I've decided, okay, I need a little bit more length on that. So we are going to get some more of that poly gel out and add it to, and I'm just doing a little bit at a time because I don't want to waste any of this. Like I said, I see the beauty aspect of this. Um, the beauty for me is being able to put one of these like on a nubbin, like that little thumb right there and have it kind of blend in better with my natural nails. Um, or if I've got a crack or a split or something that I'm trying to put a band-aid on to where it can grow out, I think this would be an excellent product for that. I'm really excited and I, I wanted to try different brands, not just the gel-like. I wanted to try you know, another brand and see because Moonlit and Polished, I'll leave a link for her down below. She's got just, she's tried all sorts of brands. So if you're really interested and want to see the differences, you might want to go check out her channel. So I have smushed that on, but I'm not trying to smush it hard. I did learn last time that I think I was pushing down too hard. You just want it to stick to the nail. Now this one does seem a little bit stickier and less runny, which I do like. And I am going way up underneath that nubbin nail because I don't want any of that product getting stuck between, you know, my nail and my skin because I did have a little bit of that last time. So I'm doing a little bit more cleaning up. And I'm just using that slip solution as my cleanup this time. Looking pretty good. We're going to put that clip back on. Now, I'm not a professional at this by any stretch of the imagination, but I can tell you, just like with our other stuff, it gets better with practice. Now, we're going to pop that, pop it off. I have cured that for two 60-second rounds. I recorded, uh, I didn't record that, um, but I did 60 seconds holding my thumbnail straight up and down or straight into the thing, and then I flipped it over upside down and did it for another 60 seconds in my UV lamp.
and I am so sorry I keep getting out of frame. I dialed it in so that y'all could see what I was doing really well and forgot to dial back out for the filing part. This stuff files like a dream though. I love it. It does still look a little janky, but it's smooth. Um, it, and it it's smooth and it works just fine. I wouldn't wear it like this anyway because you can see my nail line with my other nail under it, but I, I really do love love this stuff. See it looks a little bad up by the cuticle, but it goes on it's, it's smooth, so we're gonna we're gonna just go on a roll with it. Once again, this stuff files so nicely. I'm so excited about how well it is or how well it files down and you can shape it makes me happy because I don't want it looking crazy and everything. I want it to look smooth like my nails. I do apologize for getting out of frame so much. It's just crazy. But I didn't want to scratch this. I wanted to share it. So I will leave a link for this. I bought it off of Amazon. I will leave a link down below if you'd like to go check this out. I like that it came with all the different colors and, you know, and the poppets or the dual forms. And here we go. And look, I didn't get it too thick. It looks so good. And it feels so natural. I love it. So there we go. Ta-da!